Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is just a quick postpartum, uh, I wouldn't say questionnaire, but just to get right into it, what I do for after pregnancy, which is postpartum. And if you want to hear more, just stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I do. So starting from day one, right after the delivery and pain and everything, <laughs> um, you really have to buckle down and focus on your body besides taking care of your kid because he's draining everything from your body and you have to replenish. So whatever's left, your body is, whatever, blah, 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 whatever's left from your kid breastfeeding from you is what is given to you. So everything is given to your baby first, then you. So if you're not up to par, then it will backfire on you. So a couple of things, how I'm losing weight, I already lost um 25 pounds or 25 plus seven my son is seven pounds so he came out seven pounds so but anyway i've lost 25 pounds i was 219 at delivery and right now i'm 188.2 pounds so i'm still in the progression of getting my weight down getting my belly um flatter so and back to the weight that i was in my size just to clear the air. I am two weeks and three days postpartum as today I'm recording this video. <laughs> and my son was born February 1st. So a couple of things that I'm doing. I'm eating a lot of foods that would help with relieving gas because there is space in your belly that your baby was when your baby was there. So your baby's not there anymore. So it's just air. So it's a lot easier to actually lose weight while you're right after the baby so I wouldn't waste any time but you want to do it in you want to do it slowly you want to you don't want to overdo it because then also it will backfire on you so I will cut down a lot of things that you're used to eating during pregnancy if it was bad food choices or whatever the case I would Pay attention to the foods that your baby dislikes or gives them a lot of gas. So, for example, broccoli, um, acidic foods and drinks like orange juice and uh, tomatoes or tomato sauce. So there's a lot of things that you would have to Google in order to figure out like what I can have and what I can't have. Um, so if you had a vaginal birth like myself, I did tear. So um there are certain things I, I can't do right now i'm not in pain anymore but i'm still spread open so <laughs> people can say i'm not all the way closed so i have i can't do any squats just yet um it's still too early and you don't want to overdo it so a lot of things i do many core exercises and leg ups i should say um just to help with lifting my butt if it needs to be lifted um and my core so i do a lot of just arm stretches lean overs um crutches in my seat and sitting up properly so there's a lot of things i do twist motions um i do it i put in those exercises while my child is sleeping so for during the day, I have more energy, so I will do those exercises, and um, and then at night, I would sleep when he sleeps. So during the day, you want to make sure you're, um, or during your maternity leave, you want to make sure you are wearing socks, because your feet will get bloated. Um, it shouldn't bloat for so long, but you will get bloated. And um, what else? You want to make sure you're eating your meals, morning, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and then you want snacks in between. So a lot of that triggers your breast milk um, and helps build or produce your breast milk besides drinking water. You need to drink a lot of water because you need to have your breast milk flow and being stimulated. Um, let me see. If you are thinking about losing weight right after I think everybody does. <laughs> I would breastfeed. 
breastfeeding is not hard, but it is something you have to pay attention to and make sure, making sure you're doing it correctly. Yeah, so take care of your body, take care of your skin. Um, I would continue to take your prenatals and your iron pills. If you were taking iron pills, I was, so I'm still taking them. I stopped taking my prenatal pills up until my seventh month, and now I'm taking them again because it's a form of vitamins. And um, my son is taking all of my nutrients, all of my, 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 not energy, but all of what my food is trying to give me. And I need to replenish some of that. So I take my prenatals. I do get towel wrapped um, by my aunt and my mom. So it's kind of a Caribbean thing, I believe. So they towel wrap me every night. I wear it the next morning. It causes me to sweat and everything. So sweat around my stomach and, and, and everything. So that does, does, does help. I mean, you can walk around. I wouldn't lift anything bigger than your baby. I would, you can clean, you can do laundry, you can do the normal stuff, um, but be very careful of, of um, you know, hurting yourself and those kind of things. So you want to be, you want to pay, <clears throat> you want to pay attention to that. If you, now this is a disclaimer, this video. So if you had complications, obviously more or less, you would have to add on to what I'm saying or take away from what I'm saying. So, or if you're allergic to something or, you know, like pay attention to your body. Your body will tell you, no, you can do this and no, you can't do that. Um, I started back at Zumba workout Saturdays today and it was amazing. And um, yeah, so my body, if my body told me, hey, you are doing too much, I'm doing too much so I would stop or I would take a break or whatever so yeah so you really it's more so paying attention to your body and don't be lazy with trying to get your body back in the groove of things of how you used to look and everything like it will come but you cannot be lazy like <laughs> you can't be lazy because the moment your body recognizes you being lazy it will be lazy for you and it'll be harder for you to bounce back so that is my um, my take on the postpartum and what you should and shouldn't do. This is like highly, highly important. I would really stress that you pay attention to the diet, the type of foods you're eating, the type of drinks you're drinking. I would strictly drink water if you can. Um, I wouldn't drink anything else than that. Um, and I would try to cook everything rather than go out and eat something. Now, don't get me wrong. I've had a couple of cheat days since the delivery, but that's okay. As long as you know you did wrong and you hop back on to your diet, you're good. So yeah, I would be as organized as possible. Be organized with your child or your children if you have more than one. Um, and be organized with yourself of how you're eating how you're exercising and and you'll see the weight drop your your the weight will drop fast <laughs> so yeah if you're if that's what you're worried about don't worry about it you'll be fine okay so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you rate comment and subscribe and if you have any videos that you would like to see whether it be mom videos or regular freelance makeup hair uh stuff then go ahead and leave it in the leave it in the comment section i'll check it out and i'll hopefully be able to do them if not keep asking me <laughs> Alrighty, have a good one bye